calling and tearing. When we do tearing, we come from the outside, inside. This is the movement. We've seen it before. We've seen it with a, a horizontal circle. So this is the direction. Why? Because this is the full movement. We use opposite direction, force, and we want to set things apart. We want to tear things apart. Like when we have this tower, and if I want to rip it apart, I will do this movement. Of course, this movement is very useful, but you can see it everywhere. It's not only this. I separate directions here. You see, this is a tearing movement. I control him with my palm. Of course, I can do it from the outside. I can do it here. See, again, the same movement from up, down, from outside, inside, and I tear him apart. You see where my fingers are? In his neck. Of course, he let me do it now. In real combat, he would resist it, and I would still go to his face, to his eyes, maybe. I can grab an ear and or grab his hair, grab his chin. With a tearing, we can, we work on our control by putting our fingers inside. When I grab him, I'm not grabbing like this. I grab with my fingers inside, as if I want to tear him. See, I put my fingers in him. Why? More friction, so I can grab him better, and it's painful for him and we want to cause pain when we are in combat, not out of evil, but because it distracts him and it's good for us in combat situations. Combat is not a friendly chess game. Coiling is the opposite direction. Again, we've seen it with the horizontal circle from the inside, outside down, upwards, from the inside, outside. This is coiling, unlike tearing, coiling. See, the elbow goes inside. With the tearing, the elbow goes outside, and the heavy elbow pulls. With coiling, we come from the inside, outside. So, this is coiling. See, I grab him into round manipulation. If tearing was into more separate direction manipulation, coiling is into some sort of round manipulation. I want to grab him. It's not like, it's not necessarily stick my fingers into him, but grab and twist him. Okay, so this will, will be coiling. See, I'm causing spiral motion. And If you walk from the inside outside, even push, this kind of push will be coiling because it's from the inside outside. If I grab him like this, this will be tearing force from the outside inside. So this is another thing about coiling and tearing. It's just the, the image that directs this movement. So we have tearing from the outside inside, separate directions, and we have coiling from the inside outside. And again, opposite direction, but it's not necessarily. I push two directions, but I can also walk into the same direction if it's forward. See, from the inside outside, unlike was before from up outside, inside, from the inside, outside, and I am in the same situ situation. But this time, I will do some round movement rather than striking him in more direct line. 